So I just got my first pair of Gucci shoes. Take a look. Look at this. Screw American Eagle. Screw all the stuff. You see all this? Screw this. All okay, right? now pay close attention because what we're witnessing right now is truly something special. We gotta move on to the Gucci shoes. Yes, guys. Very first pair. I've never bought some before. People go crazy over them because it's Gucci. Like a butterfly shedding its cocoon and spreading its marvelous wings. What you are witnessing right here is the transformation of an average young man into an insufferable hype beast. And it is glorious. Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. My name is Leon Lush and man, am I so fucking thrilled that you are here right now. Listen, I'm not trying to throw shade at this guy from the intro. Uh, his name's Blitzari, he has 150 YouTube subs and I just happened to stumble across his My First Pair of Gucci Shoes, parentheses crazy, video when I was doing a little research online. And uh, it just, it struck me, it was just, I watched it and I was like, man, this is like, we are witnessing the beginning, the birth of another YouTube hype beast, and I got it was overwhelming. I was overwhelmed with excitement. Sorry to interrupt, guys. I just wanted to make sure you um, like and subscribe to this video. I know you haven't seen it yet, and we're still at the beginning of the video. But I just I want to avoid the possibility of you watching this video and realizing I'm an actual piece of shit, and then being incentivized not to subscribe and like this video. So make sure you like and subscribe right now at the very beginning. Uh, and 10,000 likes, and I'll do a sequel to Fox and the Hound. Now there's like a whole genre on YouTube dedicated to hype beasts, and you're probably familiar with what a hype beast is, but in case you don't know, I'll just use the dictionary definition here. Uh, a hype beast is a insecure person that spends way too much fucking money on clothes. This is the most amount of money I think I've ever spent in one sitting besides on my car. Listen, that's on dictionary.com. Look it up. Now, if you're still not exactly sure what it is and you need an example, there's really nobody better than my man Blazendary. He's got 1.1 million subscribers on YouTube and his entire channel, I mean his entire catalog of videos is based around him wasting an egregious amount of money on stupid fucking clothes and then flexing on all of his viewers. As you guys can see, I've got the Gucci all up and then I also got the Gucci duffel. So I'm gonna be using that as my backpack for today. Anyways, before I get too off track, the reason I was even on the side of YouTube is because I was browsing Twitter the other day and I saw this tweet from Teddy Fresh, which is Ela Klein's clothing line, about these outrageous Gucci shoes. Uh, and it just got me thinking, man, about the obsession with designer clothing and spending, you know, unbelievable amounts of money on things that should normally be about a 15th of the price. Like, look at this. <laughs> what what is this what is th I don't even this guy in the middle here he looks like he looks like someone put a geisha my grandmother and a raincoat and a blender and hit pulse and then this outfit came out now I'm just venturing a guess but I would imagine that each one of these outfits is probably north of four to five thousand dollars a piece and that is just absolutely worth it I mean have you ever seen someone so thrilled to be wearing something so beautiful just look at that face Found these beauties online for $950. Now, if this isn't the biggest bargain of gay pride you've ever laid eyes on, you're simply just lying to yourself. People go crazy over them because it's Gucci. I'm sure that they do, but for me, it's the practicality of a piece like this. I mean, I take one look at these ah. shoes, and I can't think of a single outfit that I own that these shoes wouldn't work wonderfully with. Are you a single mom of twin boys that's struggling financially, and you just can't seem to find anything to make your boys look fly? Well, I have great news for you, because for the short money of $375, you can get these Gucci kids Jonathan Booty toddler shoes. I mean, shit, at that price, you might as well get a pair for both your boys, because there's no better way to show society that my boys are gonna grow up to be habitual opiate abusers. Now, admittedly, Fashion's not really my mouthful of cum, but I, wait, is that how the phrase goes? Now, fashion's not necessarily my cup of tea, Nailed it. but I like nice things, you know what I'm saying? I like buying nice things, you invest in something, it feels good when you have something that's well made and serves a purpose for you. But if you base your entire personality around wasting thousands and thousands of dollars on stupid fucking designer clothes, you're probably kind of a loser. Now that being said, I understand that life is just a big game of relativity and maybe I'm the ignorant one in this case. Maybe it's cool to go out and spend your paycheck on an ugly pair of shoes. But maybe that's the fucking thing to do. Maybe that's cool. So I wanna experience this a little bit. I'm gonna do a little online shopping for my wife. I'm gonna buy her some Gucci, see if I can get that thrill, that rush, that same feeling that, oh God, I'm fucking so much better than all of you dumbass peasants because I just bought this expensive piece of shit. A Swarovski crystal headband for just one rack? Uh, yeah, add the shopping bag. 
A Gucci fanny pack for 1100 That's a fucking, that's a no-brainer. Gotta get her something simple, you know? Something she can wear around the house, right? Probably just a t-shirt or something. Maybe this Gucci cat t-shirt will do. How much does that cost? Oh, $980? Absolutely. Money ain't shit. Just in case it rains, I guess I'll pick up this $2,800 raincoat. And we'll round off the outfit with this bougie poppy silk skirt for $1,800. Love it. Let's go ahead and just check out. All right, well, I got a t-shirt, a headband, a fanny pack, a raincoat, and a skirt. And I'm only going to have to cough up $7,280. <laughs> All right, I'm going to be honest. I have a little confession to make, you know, just surrounding myself with all of this incredible Gucci clothing while making this video really kind of rubbed off on me. And I thought to myself, you know, why can't I just put shit on a popsicle stick and then brand it as Leona Lush and sell it online for $22,000? Everyone else is doing it. It's just, what, let me get a piece of that. So I went ahead and I created a few products. I created a, a couple things I think you're going to love. And I did a little fashion show. So uh, check it out. This first item is groundbreaking. This pre-worn Gucci shoe is adorned with American cheese and thick-cut smoked bacon. Not only is this shoe exceedingly comfortable for everyday wear, but you can feel confident and sexy while giving a subtle nod to the American obesity epidemic that's been caused by the unregulated intake of calorically dense foods. Next up, the Pop Loafer. At first glance, these extravagantly woven boat shoes may look overtly ordinary, but upon further inspection, you realize that the inside of the shoe was made of 100% authentic pepper jack popcorn. With unbridled flavor and crunchy comfort to spare, these shoes are sure to pop <laughs> into your wardrobe this fall. Finally, this rugged yet fashionable workout shoe is your one-stop shop for a day on the trail. Fair skin? This shoe comes loaded with spray-on SPF 50 sunblock. Need to charge some stupid device? Well, you're in luck because the decorative USB-C sandwich can be used to bring life back to your dead batteries, and it also doubles as a delicious meal should you get hungry on the go. This beautiful piece can be yours for the small price of $850,000, your own severed ring finger, proof required, and a 50-gallon drum full of vomit, tears, and a lack of respect for yourself. Well, I hope you enjoyed the fashion show. I'm really trying to blaze a trail and carve out a name for myself in the fashion industry. So if you want to help contribute to my dreams, head on over to leonle.com, grab your parents' credit card while they're asleep, and spend away. I appreciate you all dearly. If you're new here, it would mean the world if you subscribed. Be sure to leave a comment down below, and then after that, just throw on a Gucci kimono and tenderly hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me, uh, and then be on your way. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.